it's people putting their lives online that is starting to make the difference and making them targets. Information is of value to these people. There's a whole underground market of trading credit cards, identification information. So when you put that in perspective that everybody's life is now online, we can see that they're becoming targets, whereas 10 years ago this wasn't really the case. Even if the website is trusted, it doesn't mean that you don't have a keylogger on your computer, which is logging your keystroke by keystroke. It is better if the site has a lock and it's trusted site, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything's not going to happen. You could have a Trojan on your computer, which is leaking information, and has nothing to do with uh, who you're connecting to. It has to do with that they're logging every single keystroke you type. You've got to be caution, uh, cautious about how you who you add to your list and what kind of people, what kind of photos you're posting because people are tagging. And there's one thing that's very disturbing is that when you post a photo on Facebook, it is now property of Facebook. They own the rights to your picture. And a lot of people don't know this. And as we can see, like just adding friends, like I ran a test once, I made a false identity and added a bunch of people just to see if they would add me as a friend. And sure enough, 80% of them accepted my friend request not knowing who I am or where I'm from. I believe that we as human beings have the capacity to remember passwords, even if they're slightly complicated. But my philosophy is every time you change your toothbrush, change your password. I prefer Firefox, personally. Um, but there is specific vulnerabilities within Internet Explorer and Firefox. Neither of them are completely safe, but browsers do matter, especially the company, the software company that created it, because there is various exploits that take advantage of which browser you're using. For instance, even MacBook Safari was uh, a main issue. Safari had several vulnerabilities. You should get registry cleaners too. Um, there's other things than just clicking clear cache. Uh, Things are stored in hash, so it's, it does help in some instances, but at, some, at the same time, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to prevent a hacker from getting your passwords. I recommend using proxies, simply because it acts as a gateway to wherever you're connecting to. So on the other end, they'll only see the IP address, which is normally the proxy, if you're using a proxy. So... Proxies can be very beneficial, but at the same time, uh, there is proxies that are set up so that people use it, but they're really just key logging your information. So it's, it's a bit of imbalance. Everywhere there's a bit of a plus side to it, there's also a negative. But uh, overall, if, if you evaluate the risk, I'd use proxies. Most households have routers, and a lot of them are running wireless right now for practicality in their home. And wireless is, is easy to get into, whether they have a web password or a WPA key. These things can still be cracked, and people can drive around and go through your hard drives. So just because you know, you're not doing stuff online doesn't mean anything on your hard drive can't be compromised. It doesn't work like that. If you're a hacker, you're thinking about your demograph, who you can target. Uh, it's, it's more beneficial to write exploits and viruses for Windows systems because it's the most abundant operating system out there. But ever since Macintosh introduced the Intel chip, they've been coming, they've been stumbling along quite a bit of problems because they're using that same chipset, that same processor, and it's, it's basically trying to combine the architecture that Windows has. So you're going to, in the near future, you're going to start seeing quite a bit of viruses for Macs as well. For the average user, if there is an antivirus software available for your operating system, there's no question you should have it. You should look at security as a whole, that you may be attempted by hackers, you may be logged by your ISP, you may be this, you may be that. There's so many factors to factor in. The fact is, you have to expect the worst case scenario. And the best practice to do is constantly update read up, do a little bit of reading. People are always on Google anyways. Type up internet security, see what you can figure out. Uh, it can definitely be beneficial to you in your future because the way technology is headed, 
sooner or later everybody is going to need to know fundamentals of security.